G'day guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be doing 10 things I would do as the AFL CEO like I'll be going through 10 little changes I would make to the AFL so guys drop a sub and drop a like because we're going to have more of the, these kind of videos so like and sub and I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so the first rule change I would make, Twilight Grand Finals should be brought into the AFL. Yes, Twilight Grand Finals should be back in the AFL. Start around 5.30 the game. Actually, not 5.30, like around 4.35ish or yeah, around that time slot. And then get started. Oh, I think it's the best Grand Final experience. Um, play the first half in like daytime and then... Um, the second half of night time, it will just give the atmosphere a bit more um, oomph into it. So I think it's better if Twilight Grand Finals should be brought into the AFL as CEO. I would bring that into the AFL it myself. So yeah, I think that should happen as CEO. Okay guys, so now the second thing I will do to the AFL. No more Thursday night games. Bring back the Sunday games on Channel 7. Yes, we've seen um, a bit of a decline of Channel 7 games on the Sunday, which um, it's a bit frustrating. I think they should get rid of that Thursday night footy. I think Thursday night footy has gotten a bit boring, if you, if you ask me, because they've turned into more smashings and stuff. But I think if you put Channel 7 Sunday games, it will bring back that atmosphere and everything. I think get scrap the Thursday night. Um, games and bring back Sunday games on Channel 7, that would be a bit more better. 320 time slot games instead of 4 o'clock time slots, so like, like that would be a bit more better as well. So I uh, that's a change I would make a CEO as well, so yeah, that's a really good one for me. Now the third thing I would change in the AFL is to make a Defender Award. There's Coleman Medal for the forwards, a brown one for the midfielders. There hasn't been enough credit given out to the defenders out there. In this um AFL unit, like there's so much good defenders out there. Leah Lear, James Sicily, Stephen May, Jake Lee, but they don't get credit. They deserve by winning medals and stuff. I think they should bring in a defender award, which is really good for um uh the AFL as well, because every other position gets an award and not defenders, even rucks you could say, but I think defenders need more credit in the AFL, so yeah, I think they should bring a defender award. So now the fourth thing I want to change in the AFL is they have to make international round. That is what I will do as CEO. Spread it to across China, Japan, the US. It will bring more fans. I think it will be better to put in the US. More people watch AFL in the US. Not many people know it around there. It would be good to spread it around the world. Like every year they go to a different country and play a round in an international place um yeah it will be very good in my opinion i think it will be better um lots of people will travel trail fans can travel over there um and watch that round as well it will be a good experience for the afl as well and also um the fan the people there in the country spreading the game across many countries it will be very good in my opinion. I think I should make an international round. Yeah, that's what I think in my opinion. Now, the fifth thing I would do to the AFL as AFL CEO is bring the 20th team into the bloody AFL, which should be taken because we Tarsi Devils have already signed their licence in the AFL, I think, in 2028, yeah. So why not bring the 20th team as well to make it an even number? It will be way better in the AFL, yeah. Um, 20 teams is small better and also probably reduce it to top 10 or something, top 8. No, I can stay as top 10, top 8, but yeah, they need to add the 20 a team. If the Tassie Devils are coming in 2028, they need to add the 20 a team because if not, everyone's going to have a buy around, you know what I mean? Because it's 19 teams, uneven number, it's not going to be fun, is it? So bring the 20 a team into the AFL and yeah. The sixth thing I would change to the AFL is to remove the standard. It's just been a really annoying factor to the AFL, ruining the motion of the game. I think it would be better if they just removed the standard. In my opinion, that means more jumping around, even though, um, yeah, if it's important, yeah, just jump around. Uh, they should just remove the standard, honestly. It's a very bad thing. So just remove it, guys. And yeah, I think remove the standard is the sixth thing. 
Now the most controversial one of the video. I chose to do this lots of AFL fans might hate it who especially love the AFL. I don't screw any kind of the game. Same thing I would change is bring super goals to the AFL. So basically a super block goal is where you where you kick a ball out five fifty and if it's a goal you give twelve points. Which I think might make it more entertaining, but it could absolutely flop. So if it's outside 50 and they kick it from outside 50, it's a goal. It's 12 points, like instead of 6 points, 12 points, because I think they need extra credit for that. Eighth thing I would change is the AFL should have extra time. Of course, the AFL, um, they don't have extra time, like um, in draws, like there's some massive draws, like the Bombers and the... Um, Bombers and um, the Collingwood game, it was an Anzac Day draw. It was a big game. I think many people would have wanted a result. So I think they should bring extra time to the AFL. It will be in finals, but I think they should bring, bring it to the regular round games because it's getting really annoying. Like, there's been so many draws this season with the Adelaide and Brisbane draw as well. So I think they should have more um, extra time to give an in to the AFL, which would be good and a good... Um, more exciting for the fans yeah. and yeah because we just want more four points so now the ninth thing i want to change as afl ceo is gather around should be pushed to more states of course we've seen um gather around being only in adelaide which i don't like that concept i think it should go to a um there should be it should be pushed out to the rest of Australia, like go to Queensland, go to um, New South Wales one, um, WA one would be great, like, and one even in Melbourne with the, like, local grounds in Melbourne, which would be really good, like, you know, the, um, the BFL grounds over there, so I, I think it would be more better to push it to more states, it would be more cultural, I think more people will go to gather around, more people will be excited for it. I think it will be way better if it gets pushed to more states. That is what I would do as a year. Now, this is something I actually want to change. Just seriously, no more opening ground in 2025. Everyone, every other team wants to play the opening ground every time. And also, it's so boring in AFL ladder when you know they played the extra game while you haven't. Like, it's so annoying. The concept's scrapped. It's so bad. I mean, it's good footy gets to start a bit earlier, um, but scrap it. Just scrap it, please. Opening ground is very bad, in my opinion. I don't think they should even have it. It's just terrible. Terrible. You hear me? Terrible. Get rid of opening ground, AFL CEO. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get lost. Go home. Now, like and subscribe to the channel, guys. 97 97.5% 97 are... Sub not subscribe but it's a shocking figure subscribe if you want to give me a little gift which would mean a lot to me and see you guys next time